Hello, and welcome back to Words and Pixels. Today we have two Scribbler boxes to unbox. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. All right, so we're gonna do the initial cut. I've already done a Scribbler unboxing. I'm gonna do it this way. Let's not cut my face off. This is, this is unsafe. Don't unbox like this. Oh my God, okay. There we go. Boop. So we have the box and let's open it up. I'm gonna let you guys take a look first. Don't spoil it for me. All right. And you can see we have a whole bunch of orange stuff. Yay. And then we have a little postcard and October's box, I don't remember what the theme was, I don't think it was Halloween, but I do appreciate the Halloween aesthetics here. So let's take a look at what the card says. Okay, we have another Scribbler writing contest, uh, but it's over already because I missed it. So cool. All right, first off we have, ooh, ooh, I like these. These are wholesome, organic Swedish fish, except they're not Swedish fish. They're delish fish. But they're really cute. I actually am totally into this. No high fructose corn syrup, no synthetic colors, naturally flavored and vegan. Pretty cool. And next we have Writer on Fire. Oh, it's a candle. Ooh. Okay, let me show you the, the art on it because it's cool. So it says, Writer on Fire. It's especially made for Scribbler. And the scent on it is pumpkin, apple, and molasses. And it is a soy-based candle, which is nice. Let's give it a smell and see what the inside looks like. So it's like a red color. It smells good. It smells like what it says it is. I have a hard time lighting candles because I have cats, so I may or may not actually be lighting this at any point. But I do like the smell of it, and if I do find a day where I can light it, then I will go ahead and let you know how it smells. But that's cool. All right, next we have another guest. This is Hafiza Getter. I probably butchered the name yet again. It was on November 4th, but I could still watch the archive online. So that's cool. Definitely watch the archive. I think I might just do one episode. If people want to see this, let me know. But maybe I'll do one episode where I go back and I check out the archives for all of these. Because I'll probably just watch them all in one shot. So if people want to see that, let me know. I could let you know what the experience was like. Next. Oh, little notebook. So we got a little journal. It is a brand called Yobi or Yubi. I don't know about that. But it does say on it that these journals donate one item to a U.S. classroom in need, which I think is nice. Uh, and there's a mini pack of three journals here, two blue ones and one that's kind of like a beige sort of color. So cool. Okay, next we have oh, the writing passport. So this is the little volume that you get that has some writing advice on it. And this one is about world building. And I think you just have the book left. I did not read the book from last time. I'm just very behind on reading right now. I actually have Rhett and Link's book that I still have to read. I still haven't read A Starless Sea, even though it's been behind me on that stack of books for a really long time. So this is, what is this? Publishing process, inside look. Oh, okay, this is the edits for the book that's included. So it shows you like some of the passages that he changed and why he chose to change them. I like that kind of stuff. It's cool to see why authors choose to make the decisions that they do. And then we have dun, 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 the book itself. So it's called How the Fires End. It comes with a bookmark, which is cute. Um, the author's signature, I guess. I don't know what this is. A postcard that I guess is the location from the book. It says it's in Sicily. Fires and a blazing debut by an important new Italian American voice. That's cool. And here is the book itself. So 
Neat. That's How the Fires End by Mark Raffala. Raffala. Sorry. Let's see. A dark secret born out of World War II lies at the heart of a Sicilian-American family in this emotional and sweeping saga of guilt, revenge, and ultimately redemption. That's pretty cool. Um, part of my family is from Sicily, so reading about Sicilian Americans hits a little close to home, so I would definitely be interested in this book, so we'll check it out. And that's it for this video. No, I'm joking, because we have another box, so let's check out this box. All right, so here is the, oops, it's upside down. Hopefully I didn't break anything. Here is the November box, and let's open it up and take a look inside. All right, so this time, the card is not orange and black because it's not Halloween themed anymore. Uh, let's see what the card says. Writing contest uh, ends November 14th. I missed it. All right, so first we... Oh! I'm sorry, I cut myself off, but I got excited. Look, it's hot chocolate! I am a big hot chocolate person. I love hot chocolate. Uh, lately I've been drinking the Nestle low calorie hot chocolate. And this is almost certainly not low calorie hot chocolate, but I do think I would enjoy it. It's from the Spice House. Uh, it says it is a blend of two butter rich cocos. Add some cinnamon and a dash of chili to beat back the winter blues. Well, I will definitely 100% be trying this because this looks very good. So I'm excited. Publishing process. Marco Clues is going to be the books. This is, um, again, one of those inside looks. Usually it's further down in the box. I don't know why it was so close to the top this time. But yeah, this is just, again, the thing that has the edits in it for the book that's going to be included, which appears to be a sci-fi book. So uh, sci-fi fantasy is a little more my speed. So I'm excited to look at that. Uh, but before we do, we have some more goodies to look at first. First we have, what is this? I don't know what you are. It says right over the top, a writing map to fabulous stories, text and writing prompts by Sean Levin, illustrations by Sam Breyer. So that's what that looks like. Uh, oh, there's more in the back. Inspired by the weird and wonderful book, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I love Alice in Wonderland. The right over the top writing map will prompt you to invent, elaborate, and exaggerate to create fabulous stories out of everyday life. What? Oh. Oh god, there's stuff happening. Uh, first off, there's this little card in here. I don't know if you guys could get a good look at that. It says, I read so I could live one more than one life. Let me try that again. I read so I can live more than one life in more than one place by Ann Tyler. That's a nice quote. And when you... Oh. And writingmaps.com. Okay, so it's like a website that has writing inspired stuff. I don't know. This is it's a little complicated for me. But I think you can buy... Okay. All right. No, I think I got it now. So it's writingmaps.com, and it looks like there's a whole bunch of different writing maps that you could buy. So this is just one of them. That's why I was confused, because I was like, what, what is this? So this is just one of the writing maps that they offer on their website. And the idea is that it gives you like prompts and kind of fun things that you could do. Let's actually just unfold the map. I think we'll kind of get a better idea of what's going on when we do that. Oh, wow. There's a lot happening here. Right over the top, writing map. Two fabulous stories. So it looks like there's just a bunch of different writing prompts on a long paper with some artwork. So here's what it looks like. And then if you turn it over, there's more on the other side. And you can see, like, it's probably tough to see on the camera, but each of these on the side is a different type of writing prompt of some sort. I think that seems fun. I don't know if I would pay for one of these, but I do think it makes, like, a cool sort of poster to hang up. 
So I will maybe see if I could get a frame for it and hang it. I think that, I like the artwork. I think that part of it's cool. I don't know if I'd really do any of the writing prompts. I feel like I'm constantly swimming in writing prompts. You know, I have writing prompt books. I subscribe to plenty of writing prompt uh, resources. Um, you know, I follow the writing prompt subreddit. So I don't know if I will use any of them, but I appreciate the creativity with the idea. I think it's cool and it might just be enough to get somebody inspired by something. And I like Alice in Wonderland, so I think I will try to hang that up. Interesting. What else we got? You're invited to a chat. Okay, this is with somebody named Grace Doyle. This actually hasn't passed yet. This is December 13th. Uh, we have, oh, interesting. This is a chapter planner. So the idea of this is that you can plan out the contents for a chapter and you fill in each of the little circle things there. Um, so you could put in things like what kind of scene it is, if there, what characters are going to be there, you know, what's the purpose, the plot of the chapter. I like this section, it says, did I finish this chapter? You know it's still a work in progress or got distracted by a UFO. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's cute. So that's cool. I think that's a cool thing. I think I will definitely uh, check that out. All right, next is the book. The book is Aftershocks. The Palladium Wars is the name of the series. Marco Klaus, Klus, Marco Klus wrote it. And this is what the cover looks like. And the back says, from the author of the best-selling Frontline series comes a new epic sci-fi saga set in a solar system fighting to survive and reform in the wake of a war, just as the real battle is about to begin. So it seems interesting. As I said, I do enjoy sci-fi. So I will probably enjoy this. So I will definitely uh, give it a read. And it also comes with the signature as well. So that's it for this unboxing video. I think my favorite items were definitely the hot chocolate, the Swedish fish, and the candle. But let me know what your favorite items were down in the comments below. And until next time, have a great rest of the day. Bye.